Tell us a little bit more about Walter, the second Lord Rothschild, because he was a, an unusual and colourful character. He, he was a deeply eccentric man, but from a very early age, his passion was collecting. Um, he read about Tring Park on a giant tortoise. <laughs> he had a zebra uh, carriage. A he, carriage pulled by zebras? Yes. Um, he collected on a massive scale birds, insects, fleas, it was the, butterflies. The, 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 the largest single collection created by a single individual. I think that's true. I think certainly in Great Britain, I think probably anywhere, uh, he was the greatest collector of ornithological material. His, his niece, Miriam, writes that, that for two years, as one of his eccentricities, he didn't open any of the letters that were sent to him and stuffed them away into wicker baskets. And it does make you wonder what would have happened if the Balfour Declaration, the letter, had been one of those letters that he'd actually, you know, <laughs> yes, stuffed. That's, that's, that's true. At that stage, and it's very difficult to quite understand why, he had taken a deep interest in what was happening about the possible the Balfour Declaration. So maybe those letters <laughs> would have got to the top of his path. <laughs>